Beginning our list, we have Hall of Fame pitcher Eddie Plank, earning his 300th win on September 11th, 1915. The first lefty to ever reach this milestone, Plank earns a spot on our list, as his 300th was one of only 21 wins he earned while playing for the St. Louis Terriers, a Federal League team in its second and final year of existence. Plank was one of only six Hall of Famers to play with the short-lived Federal League. Though he played during a time when milestones weren't as celebrated, Plank's 300th victory would have carried more meaning had it come with the Philadelphia Athletics, with whom he spent the majority of his career, won 284 games, and captured two World Series titles. And at number 7, we have Paul Wehner, getting his 3,000th hit with the Boston Braves on June 19, 1942. The Hall of Famer totaled 168 hits in 209 games with the Braves, but his 3,000th should have come with the Pirates, with whom he played more than 2,000 games and collected 2,868 hits. Ironically, Wehner got his 3,000th hit against the Pirates in Pittsburgh, batting against his former teammate Rip Sewell. Number six. On May the 6th, 1982, Gaylord Perry, one out away from 300. Two one pitch swung on, ground ball to Cruz. This should do it. He's got it. It's over. Gaylord has 300. Gaylord Perry, the master of the famous mystery pitch. Gaylord Perry now struck out three of the force four. Well, he continues to amaze everybody at 40 years old and the Cy Young Award winner of the National League last year. Randy Johnson, 299 and 164. Randy Johnson rings him up. Here's the big unit, knocks it down with his glove, and then he makes a terrific feed over to each cow at first base. Randy Johnson pitches six great innings and wins number 300. High pop straight away center field, and the Mariners win the game. His fifth consecutive 300 strikeout season. And that is strikeout number 4,500 for Randy Johnson. He's going to keep the baseball. And he drives one deep down the left field line. Headed toward the corner and it's out of here. Gary Sheffield with his 500th career home run. Right in the left field. Well struck. It is gone, a home run for Sheffield. Into right field, back it goes, and there it is! 1-0 pitch, driven in the air to left field. That ball is up and out. And a very typical Sheffield homer, wouldn't you say? Just one of those line shot lasers. Matthew singled up the middle his first time up and struck out. He's one for two. Juan Marichal scratches the pitch. Will hit ball in the deep right field. Way back round number 500 for Eddie Matthews. The entire Astros bench is up. And he connects. Hank Barr moves back, but the ball is out of reach. A home run and a 7-5 Milwaukee victory. And here comes Pete. Rose driving the ball right field. And Pete Rose takes another big step toward baseball immortality. Designed from Carter, the 1 0 pitch. Swung on. Oh! The strike one pitch to Rose. Bouncer to the hole, there it is. Strike three, that was the 4,000 strikeout of Steve Fogg in his major league career. And that's quite a milestone. Only Nolan Ryan in the history of Major League Baseball has struck out four. Carlton closing in, he fires, swing and a miss, and that's a dozen he's fan now. Steve Carlton, a big left hander from the St. Louis Cardinals. And he took him out on a high fastball, way outside, and that's all.